All right, now we're gonna be going over our bullpen protocol, our mound bullpen protocol. So in our mound bullpen protocol, we wanna simulate what we're gonna be doing in the game as best we can. So these are gonna be done at 100% effort or pretty close to that. Um, we wanna have a catcher in there. If you don't have a catcher, throw into a target, uh, we'll be all right. We also wanna make sure that we're alternating between fastball and off speed, all right? So if you're working on some off speed, make sure that you know we're never getting more than you know two maybe three off-speed pitches in a row before we check back to that fastball just like we would be doing in the game um, if this is an extended bullpen right and you're throwing um, you know a good amount of pitches make sure we're breaking that up like an inning would be all right so we don't ever really want to go over 20 25 pitches before we take a break um, to simulate in between innings right so after each set, you know, you're going to take a few minute break and then move on from there. And then we also want to make sure that we always have a focus during our mound bullpen. So there's going to be something that you're working on. You know, you always want to pick out a spot that you're throwing to, working on a command, maybe working on feeling your off speed, but every pitch will have a purpose. Okay, there's a few examples of what would happen during a regular mound bullpen. Um, once you reach your set pitches, give or take, we will make sure we always take a rest if we have more sets. Remember, we're gonna try to simulate in between innings with all of our mound work and all of our bullpen work so that we're getting used to coming in for an inning, having our offense hit while we're sitting, resting, and then we would get back up, go back out there and execute our pitches into another set or another inning.